Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the three bit counter, alright? We see the synchronous up counter, okay? So three bit synchronous up counter. How to design a synchronous counter? The steps are mentioned in the previous video. The link is given in the description. You watch that first. If you watch that, so you're welcome here. Now I, uh, I, I need to tell you this, that if, if this video you're finding is not in a proper playlist of this digital logic and design course, so you have to uh, visit then the, for proper order, you, you visit the description, all right? Over there I properly mentioned the previous video link is also available and the video that is next, the link is also available over there. And you also need to subscribe to the channel, all right? That is something important for me. All right. So the three bit synchronous up counter. Now the step number one was what? You, you, you select the flip flop and the number. So we have three bits. So we mean we are using three flip flops. And let's say I'm using T flip flops in this case. Three T flip flops. The second step was the excitation of the T flip flop. So you have QN, you have QN plus one, and you have T. So zero, 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 one, one zero one one so t would be zero one one zero this is something you need to know from the previous knowledge zero one one zero we have already made the videos on excitation table of t flip-flops you need to watch them first number three step was you need to draw the state diagram of the counter and also the circuit excitation table so state diagram is something that you can draw yourself can't you I have already drawn in the previous video in the state diagram introduction video that state diagram of the three bit counter you, you, you draw it for yourself over there. I'm drawing the circuit excitation table myself. So the present states you have the present states. These are three. Uh, so we have QC, QB and QA fine. Then you have the next states. And those will be QC star, QB star, QA star, let's say. And depending on these values, we have the values of TC, the flip-flop inputs, all right? The flip-flop inputs, and we will be taking the help of the excitation table. So we have the value for TC, TB, and DA. Now, you know that the first state is 0, 0, 0. You draw the state diagram yourself. For that, the next state would be 0, 0, 1. Now, if 0, 0, 1 is your present state, the next state would be a 0, 1, 0. All right? Now, if 0, 1, 0 is your present state, 0, 1, 1 would be the next state. If 0, 1, 1 is the present state, 1, 0, 0 would be the next state. 100 zero zero is the present state, 101 one would be the next state. If 101 one is the present state, 110 one would be the next state. And if 110 one is the present state, 111 one one would be the next state. All right, now this is what? You, need, you have a three bit counter. So three bit means you have two to the power three is equal to eight states. Two to the power three is equal to eight states. All right, and you have 2 to the power 3 minus 1 which is equal to 7 is the maximum count. So have a look. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have reached uh, the 7. Uh, maximum count of 7. Alright. So uh, now after 7, 1, 1, 1. This is 7. So when 1, 1, 1 arrives, we need to reset the flip-flop. And the next stage should be 0, 0, 0. Is that fine? Okay. Now the values of TC, TB, and from uh, and TA from with the help of the excitation table. So first for C, have a look. Uh, so C when is zero zero when both are zero zero. So you have T zero. Fine. Zero zero again. So T is zero. Zero zero again. So T is zero. Zero one. So T is one. One one T is zero. One one T is zero. 1, 1, T is 0. 1, 0, T is 1. 
Fine, this is for TC. For TB, have a look. QB and QB bar. QB star. So 0, 0 is a 0. 0, 1 is a 1. 1, 1 is a 0. 1, 0 is a 1. 0, 0 is a 0. 0, 1 is a 1. 0, 1 is a 1. 1, 1 is a 0. And 1, 0 is a 0. Fine. Now for TA, finally have a look for QA and QA bar. So, QA and QA bar. 0, 1 is a 1. Right? 1, 0 is a 1. 0, 1 is a 1 again. 1, 0 is a 1 again. 0, 1 is again a 1. 1, 0 is again a 1. 0, 1 is again a 1. And 1, 0 is again a 1. So I hope I have written it correct. If not, so that is your job to correct me, all right? So that is the, four, the third step is done. Now the fourth step is what? You obtain the simplified equations for these three. So for that, I remove this part of it, all right? And now this is step number four. <coughs> I'm sorry. Step number four, you obtain equations for TC, let's say. So these are three variables. We will be needing four cells. Uh, sorry, four, three variables. So eight cells all right so these are the eight cells you have qc qb qa find 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and 1 now have a look 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and again a triple zero one so only this is the group. This is for TA, TC, sorry. So TC is what? This is QB, QA. Fine. Now for uh, TB. So again the same eight cells map. We have three variables. QC, QB, QA. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. 0, 1, 0, 1. Fine. 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0. So you have two groups. The first is, let's say, this one. This is for TB. And this is QB complement into QA. Or with the next group is this one, which you have QC complement, and then you have QA. QA, fine. QB complement QA. Wait, made a mistake. Zero one zero one zero one zero one. Zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one. Fine. I believe I have a mistake over here. And the mistake is, I believe this one. Have a look. For TB, when it's a 1, 0, 1, 0, so it's a 1, all right? This is a 1, this one. This is a 1, all right? Which makes this a 1. So you have only one group, only one group. And that is this whole four, four ones, all right? And in this we see that uh, only QA is not changing. 2B is equal to QA, all right? Now for, for, for TA, so you don't need to worry about that. TA is the most simplest of them. All right? So if you see this is QC, this is QB, QA, all of them are one which makes the TA equal to logic 1. So this is about it. Now you draw the, the, the logic diagram for it, fine? And for that I need this much space is enough, all right? And in this case, you, you see that QC is the most significant bit, right? Q, 
QC is the MSB and QA is the LSB which makes the output of the counter as what? QC, QB, QA. This is the output of counter. So now you need three flip-flops because this is a three-bit counter. This is TA, this is QA, QA complement. This is TB, QB and QB complement. And finally this is the third that is TC, QC and QC complement. Is that fine? Alright, now the synchronous counter, you know this is a synchronous counter, so which means an external clock pulse is provided simultaneously to all, to all the what? To all the flip-flops. This is the external clock pulse, which is this square waveform sort of. Now TA, TA is a logic one. TA is a logic one, fine. TB is QA. TB is QA, fine, and TC is QB ended with QA, have an AND gate over here, TC is QB ended with this QA, so that's about it, alright, and here we have these QC and QC bar as well, so that's all about it. That is 3 bit synchronous up counter. So, see you in the next lecture. Well, I hope you got it, okay? I think I got in a little speed, but these are something easy concepts, alright? So, that is all about today. See you in the next lecture very soon. Till then, take care. Goodbye.